And he was saying that the officer was uh, swinging and he was trying to block uh, punches and stuff the best he can. And he got actually kicked in his ankle and he ended up going to the hospital the next day. Eventually, the case was handed over to the Levy County Sheriff's Office. Sergeant Landis has been relieved of his duties while the situation is under investigation. Good morning, everyone. This video was sent to my son, San Joaquin Jr., and is an exclusive video that you won't find anywhere else. Why did this man send my son this video? The man recording the video served in the military as well as my son. When he seen my son, San Joaquin Jr., doing videos that involves the military, he felt my son would understand, which he did. I would like to add that I don't hand over my supporters just for the heck of it. A man must always pull his own weight. A man must at least put in the effort in order to get a shout out from me. I believe he is doing that. Here's a text message between him and I so you know what I mean. It reads with my text reading in blue. Press on drop your link in his pinned comment. Pretty cool. He says, yeah, he helped my video out a lot. Holy shit, almost to 500 subs. I tell him, that's nothing. This is coming fast for you. Meaning the sub count, not what the amazing one of the people did for him. People in the community are noticing that you're doing this mostly on your own. If I was the one sending you the videos to work on, mirroring every video, and giving you repeated shout outs, you wouldn't get the respect within the community. I see that they're asking you questions. They will hold you accountable if you make mistakes. And remember, it's okay to make mistakes, but not to repeat them. Your content so far is educational, quick and to the point, edgy as fuck, and comes with some military experience. These are qualities that people are noticing, including me. Keep up the work, dude. Watch the magic happen. And he goes on to thank me. In this video, my son gives his assessment and gives us the good news that this officer was relieved of his duties. This took place in Williston, Florida. The state's attorney's office said they'd no longer take any of his cases. Hence, he could no longer be a patrol officer again in the state of Florida. One thing I'd like to add is that the chief of police, as well as the mayor of Williston, Florida, are also in hot water because of this incident, as well as others just like it, as you'll see at the end of this video. The man involved tells my son that because of me and my channel he understands his civil rights i gotta tell you guys what an honor it is for someone to speak highly of me to one of my family members this man is a 58 year old veteran with awards and a presidential citation i just called rights crispy on the phone and he said he'd do a follow-up audit soon to keep the pressure on the williston police and to make sure they do the right thing and get rid of him for good check out the video that's on san joaquin jr's channel subscribe to that channel and let him know San Joaquin Sr. sent you. Let me say this really quick before I send you guys to watch the video. When veterans unite and get involved in the preservation of our human rights and civil liberties, it is very clear who the Oath Keepers are in America. Thank you to each one of the patriots mentioned in this video, as well as everyone else who has served this country. Thank you. And here's the video, folks. Check it out. Good morning, everyone. San Joaquin Jr. here. Yesterday, a video was sent to me by a fellow veteran and one of my subscribers that shows a police officer assaulting him because he is practicing his First Amendment right. This happened July 3rd, 2020. The officer has since been relieved of his duties. I want to shed light on this case for a couple reasons. First, knowing your rights is essential when practicing them. Second, always record the police and don't stop if they try to bully you. This video reaffirms that advice. It frustrates me to see this happen to a fellow veteran, but it also brings me satisfaction seeing that this garbage police officer got fired. Hopefully it stays that way, but this is the USA, so he might have been hired by a department near you. You guys smash that like button, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Sitting there still, motor running, wasting gas and taxpayers dollars this man recorded this police officer sitting there for two hours keep watching just gonna sit there and hide from everybody I haven't done anything illegal. You're trespassing. No, I'm not, officer. Yes, you are. Hey, don't, don't do that. I'm going to read to you really quick what this hero wrote to my son. And just keep in mind that this video will be unedited on my son's channel. So make sure you go subscribe. I must tell you that I would be under the jail if it wasn't for your father. I owe him everything. You see, I started watching his audits a long time ago. Like when he first started auditing. He was the first audit I ever saw. His extreme courage in the face of sure death and danger showed me the way. He taught me the value of the rights I fought for in the army. Thanks to him, I didn't just put my hands on the hood of that patrol car. I was able to remain calm respectful that was hard and clearly think and not react i was able to impart to the ex-officer that i knew my rights and wasn't going to be run over by a bully cop when i told the sergeant he was live i gotta tell you guys that's very heartwarming to know that my work actually helps somebody thank you so much to him and thank you to my son for doing this keep watching the video guys make sure you go subscribe to my son as well thank you
That's Williston Police Department live. Yes, John, I see that. Thank you for the comment, Trigger. You know what? Um, I'm moving. And you're live on the internet. I'm sure you don't. Trespassing, he says. <laughs> yep. Not. He just don't want to be on camera sitting over there for hours doing nothing. Fucking cop tried to grab me. That's assault. We'll be checking out the damn... We'll be checking out the damn state police for this. We have an update on a story we told you about last Friday night. A Williston police officer was relieved of his duties after being accused of police brutality. TV 20's Claudia Belafado shows us the video that is now under investigation. The man accusing Sergeant Landis of police brutality is the one who took the video, which shows what looks like a physical altercation between the two after Sergeant Landis accuses him of trespassing. The video was originally live streamed on Facebook. In the video, you can hear Sergeant Landis accusing the man of trespassing and the man behind the phone repeatedly telling the officer to take his hands off him. The man then sent that video to the leader of a local group focused on fighting for equality called Next Generation. The officer had no um, proof of him trespassing from an uh, owner or anything of the property. And he was saying that the officer was uh, swinging and he was trying to block uh, punches and stuff the best he can. And he got actually kicked in his ankle and he ended up going to the hospital the next day. Eventually, the case was handed over to the Levy County Sheriff's Office. Sergeant Landis has been relieved of his duties while the situation is under investigation. Meanwhile, members of the Williston community have been posting more videos on social media showing Sergeant Landis getting in physical situations with other individuals. Currently, we'll be focusing on just the one event that occurred on July the 3rd. Uh, not saying that those other events won't uh, bringing in some additional light on the situation, I don't know. Um, obviously, if, uh, if we had an official complaint brought by a citizen, that we investigate that complaint uh, thoroughly. Levy County Sheriff's Office say they have no comment as this is an ongoing criminal investigation. We'll have all the updates for you on our website, wcjb.com. Claudia Belafato, TV 20 News. Before you go and subscribe to San Joaquin Jr., I would like to remind you, the supporter, of the important role you play in all of this. Without you, this officer would not have been relieved of his duties. Someone that was watching the man's Facebook live stream made the complaint that ultimately led to this accountability action. Thank you to every single one of you that offer a hand in the freedom movement. Now go subscribe to San Joaquin Jr. and let him know his dad sent you. Thank you guys. I'll see you all over there.